Hello everyone, I'm The Lesson Hacker and welcome once again to the Craig and Dave channel. Now today, we're taking a deep dive into the world of DNA testing. You know, uh, the one where you spit in a tube and send it off to some lab and a few weeks later they tell you things you didn't know or sometimes things you wish you didn't know about yourself. So let's talk about the story of 23andMe. It's been around for years, taking on the task of revealing everything from your potential health risks to your long lost family connections. It's the kind of service that promised to unlock the secrets of our genomes, turning us all into amateur geneticists. And to be fair, they've delivered some pretty impressive results. You could find out if you're 5% Norwegian or have the gene for curly hair or from a little spit sample. Now I had mine done early into 23andMe's life and I discovered that I'm a whopping 0.8% Italian and that apparently I'm likely to be susceptible to male pattern baldness. I mean, who knew, right? But here's the catch. Lately, companies like 23andMe have been facing some big challenges. 23andMe's stock price has dropped dramatically and it's struggling to stay afloat. Now, this isn't just about whether the company will be around for the next Who Do You Think You Are series. Uh, Brian, Brian, didn't you do one of these kits and find out you're related to Bigfoot? This is actually about the massive DNA databases they're holding because if they do go under, what happens to your genetic information? Or my genetic information? And it's not just about your information either. If you send in your sample, your data can reveal details about your family members too. So by signing up to learn more about yourself, you've also unwittingly signed up your siblings, your parents, and your distant cousins up for a little bit of genetic oversharing. I can tell you now that my father wasn't particularly impressed with the range of medical testing I bullied him into undergoing after my results showed that I was more likely to have a certain illness. He was not happy at all. A perfect example? Atlas Biomed, another DNA testing company, recently disappeared from the web, leaving customers completely in the dark about what's happened to their most personal data. And they even have links to Russia, which, if you're familiar with international data security concerns, raises a few eyebrows. Now, 23andMe has reassured customers that even if the company changes hands, they'll keep our data secure. But that's a tough promise to keep, especially when you consider that many companies' terms and conditions already allow for your data to be shared with third-party providers. With data like this, we're not just talking about some lost bank account details that you can quickly update. It's your genetic code. That's you, in the most personal way possible. And once your DNA is out there, there's no going back. You can't exactly log in and reset it. Although if that were possible, I know I'd make some changes to my genome. So if you're thinking about signing up for a DNA testing kit, here are a few things to keep in mind. First, understand that any company holding your genetic information is doing so with some serious legal rights over it. It's always worth a look at what the company says they'll do with it, who else can access it, and how long they plan to keep it. Second, think about how much you really want to know. Remember, one in 20 people using these services has learned that one of their parents isn't actually their parent, having just imagined explaining that revelation over Sunday lunch. It's even been used by law enforcement to identify serial killers by tracking down their children. Nan, Nan, yes, MI6 have tracked you down from my DNA test. They know you threw those eggs at that politician in 1963. Run, Nan, run! But if you're already in the system like me and the idea of your data being sold or hacked is keeping you up at night, you do have a few options. Most companies will let you delete your data, though it's worth noting that once it's been anonymized and used in research, that bit of info can't be retrieved. Think of it as a sort of genetic footprint that can't really be washed away. To summarize, 23andMe and other DNA testing companies offer interesting insights into ancestry and health, but they hold extensive sensitive personal data that raises privacy issues. If these companies face financial trouble, your genetic information could be at risk of being shared or mishandled. DNA data doesn't just affect you, it impacts family members, so choosing to use these services is a decision worth careful thought. If you've already tested, you can explore data deletion options, but remember, once DNA is used in research, it's out there for good. So that's a wrap today. If you've been on the fence about DNA testing, at least now you know a little bit more about what's involved and just what a commitment that little spit sample can really be. And hey, 
If you're already in one of those databases, then don't worry, just think of it like joining a really weird family club where no one quite knows who's related to who. Thanks for watching, and hey, with my DNA out there, at least I'll live on, even if it's just in a test tube in Silicon Valley.